Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really, really well. So this reading is actually like an extra reading. It's going to be for divine soulmates where there is no communication, no contact. I do realize that for some of you it can be a little bit complicated, like maybe there's semi-communication. So just take this message if it resonates for you, okay? Um, it is general, so it's definitely not going to be everybody's situation. So again, just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, and yeah, if you'd like a personal reading to get more specific for your specific situation, you can find all that information in the description box. So with all of that said, let's get into it. We are gonna focus mostly on what is going on with the masculines. I might pull a few cards at the end for the feminines just because I need to keep this reading a little bit shorter this time around. So let's see what is going on with masculines divine and soulmate connections okay we have angel of love very first card out okay so they it's like they're opening up to love they're opening up to love and not only that they're getting guidance to actually figure out what it is that they want from within from their hearts and i do feel that um venus going retrograde in capricorn that's going to be a major influencing factor here all right because venus is all about love and about what we want and so yeah and it's going to be um us getting really really focused on that and actually working hard like capricorn works hard in order to figure out what it is exactly that our heart wants let's see what else all right and we got two from this deck we have the number seven and number 28 so the number seven here this card is all about grief feeling the sense of a loss um, going through grief sadness okay so the masculine could also be going through some depression at the moment um, concerning love concerning their their love life feeling like like something is just empty or that something is feeling broken all right, and then with number 28, this is all about intimidation. So it could be that the masculine is currently also feeling intimidated by the connection with the feminine or just intimidated by you in some way, but for some of them even intimidated by the way that they are feeling, intimidated, in other words, by their own self, by the fact that they are feeling this loss, right? And discovering what it is that their heart wants, this can be intimidating to them. So we will get a couple more oracle cards and then we'll get into the tarot. And I actually might clarify these or some of these. We'll see. So what else? Ooh, okay. So we have stuck, self-worth, and we also got the twin flame card. Okay, so twin flame, um, it, it doesn't matter if you resonate with that label or not. It's just representing a deeper connection, a divine soulmate connection here. So the fact that this card is even showing up, um, this is the masculine actually recognizing this and if they don't know this term it doesn't matter it's what they are feeling right they're feeling about their feminine right that it is a deeper and more spiritual connection here um what's keeping them stuck right is this intimidation the fact that they're feeling intimidated and so that is keeping them a little bit stuck and the reason why they're feeling intimidated it goes back to of course their sense of self-worth so and this could be very deeply rooted and it can play out in different ways. So for example, um, somebody who is struggling with their um, sense of self-worth and so they feel intimidated, it might come across as arrogance, okay? Sometimes that's what the ego does. It will play out the opposite in order to compensate, okay? Not necessarily true for everybody. For others, maybe they are fully displaying a low sense of self-worth. It's really going to depend um, on the particular person, but this is the root cause of them feeling intimidated at the moment by this love, by this connection, because it is so intense. I mean, we're starting off this um, combination here of Oracle cards with Angel of Love, finishing off with the Twin Flame card. That's, and then intimidation and stuck in the middle because it's so freaking intense. And it's like they don't feel like, um, 
like they're worthy enough of something so intense, of something so spiritual, it can be very, very intimidating to them because it comes with possibly more responsibility, it comes with triggers, it comes with a whole bunch of stuff, right? That can make things difficult. However, they are grieving the fact that they are not with you at the moment and the fact that they are stuck. So, let's see, let's get a couple of tarot cards for these. Actually, no, we're, I'm going to pull some cards for their general energy towards you, how they're thinking about you and what they're feeling about you, and then I might clarify some of these at the end. So, let's see what we get. What is the general energy of the masculine towards the feminine right now, or just in general? What's going on with these masculines, please? All right, so we only got two for their general energy here. Um, we have the Ten of Swords in reverse and we have the Fool. So yeah, definitely feeling, um, there's definitely been an ending here, obviously, and if you're not in communication, okay, the, which is represented by this Ten of Swords. It's in reverse because they have not overcome this just yet. They have not overcome this I don't see them fully getting over you, obviously. They're, and it's like they're thinking along the lines of something new here, wanting to take some kind of a risk. Let me see, let's get, let's get a few more. Let's see what's going on in their headspace. It's like they've been feeling this um, defeat and wanting to come out of that defeat, wanting to just take some kind of a risk, some kind of a leap into the unknown, doing something new, doing something in a different way in order to get away from that feeling of the Ten of Swords, which is like that grief card that I was talking about. Yeah, okay, so for their headspace, we have the Five of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and the World card. Wow, okay. so. What's going on in their headspace here? There is a conclusion. There's a closing out of a cycle. And what I'm getting here is that that, that cycle that they want to close out is actually fighting the wrong battle. It's like they've been fighting against their own self here with the Five of Swords. Wanting to close that out because they've been deceiving their own heart. Okay, it's very simple, very simple message here. So we will clarify that, but let me just get three more, two or three more um, for what's going on with them emotionally. And then we'll clarify, get more specific. We have the Eight of Swords in reverse, the Seven of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, and the Sun in reverse. Okay, definitely some depression here, okay? There's a lot of depression and there's a lot of pain, right? Three of Swords and the Sun in reverse. Um, it, it's also coming in as there being this pain because, and it's like heartbreak, basically, right? It's, it, it, it all goes back to that, to that grief card that we have up there. Um, because it's like they're not, they're not living from the heart, they're not living in their truth, they're not living a fulfilled kind of a life. Why? Because there has been this deceit. For some of them, actually, with that Five of Swords and getting that, they deceived you, right? So they may have betrayed you in some way um, or done something really, really shady. And... For those of you that that resonates for, this is them feeling that compassion for you. Feeling, like really feeling the empathy of what, 
what you may have gone through from that betrayal. Okay, so I'm sorry to be going back up here, but that's what just called to me. And this is the completion of the cycle, right? This is what they want to put an ending to, that betrayal, that deceit. Um, okay, so back down here for their emotional space. Like I said, they're, they're feeling a lot of pain, a lot of grief. I mean, that's just showing up all over the place, even with that Ten of Swords, wanting to move away from that, wanting to make something right. Um, but there's also something here about really putting in that effort to release themselves from fear with that eight of swords like it's like they were holding themselves hostage or holding themselves victim to certain either to certain beliefs or certain fears that they were having which could actually go back to that intimidation right they're feeling intimidated at the moment but there's something here that they're working towards with the seven of pentacles wanting to move away from that right because the eight of swords is in reverse. Now we also do have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. So we are going to clarify and see and see what that's about. But I feel like this is um, this is that they're actually possibly moving a little bit slowly because they don't have that confidence. They don't trust themselves just yet. And again, low sense of self worth. I don't see them being as stuck here. Okay, as <clears throat> as it's showing up over here. So I see this as a progression of wanting to get unstuck and actually taking those first steps in getting themselves unstuck. So let's see. Let me clarify that Ten of Swords in reverse with the Fool, which is in their general energy. All right, so we have the Seven of Cups in Reverse and the Queen of Cups. So again, I mean, getting the Queen of Cups twice. The masculine is feeling a lot of compassion at the moment for you, especially when it comes to a betrayal. I feel like that's also being showed here with this Ten of Swords in Reverse. That betrayal, they have, they're not, um, I feel like whatever it is that they may have done, whatever that betrayal may be and because I, I do feel like that's actually going to resonate for most of you now um <clears throat> whatever that is it's like it's coming up it's coming up in their in the forefront of their minds and they're fully feeling the emotional um consequence of what it is that has happened like really being able to see clearly now coming out of any illusions coming out of any like distorted views, like whatever it is that happened before, right? They were in some kind of an illusion, not really understanding what it is that they were doing. And I'm not trying to excuse them, okay? I'm not excusing them at all, but that this is just what what's happening here. Um, it's, you know, it's a choice always, right? To not see something or to, it's, it's like you choose to have this illusion because that's what, um, suits you at that moment but it doesn't mean that it it was deliberate it doesn't mean that it was consciously done right it works subconsciously and usually it does stem from um a low sense of self-worth right which we're seeing here so that's what i'm getting for this masculine it's really coming up they're really feeling the consequences of that and wanting to move in a new direction. Let's see that five of swords. Okay, the hermit and the ten of wands. Yeah, there's been a lot of soul searching for this. Like they have had some very, or are having at the moment, some very deep insights for whatever it is that they have done or have been doing that has been 
deceitful to themselves or to you, to the connection, whatever. All right, a lot of deep insights here. And because of that, because they are now recognizing what they have done and the choices they have made and the consequences of the choices they have made, this is weighing very, very heavy on them. It's like they're carrying this burden now of, of their actions, which could explain also why they're now feeling intimidated. Just another reason to feel intimidated because of what they have done. And it's actually like they're going through this phase where this is actually making them feel even, um, making them feel even worse about their own self, right? So it's not really helping their sense of self-worth, but they need to do that. They need to go through this phase in order to then have healed it, process it and come out of it. Let's see the Queen of Cups. four of swords yeah they want to heal this they want to heal this in some way and they're healing right they are they're healing their own self they i feel like they're in this um they're learning forgiveness for their own self but they're also feeling like they want to be forgiven by you because like i said they're feeling that empathy they're feeling that compassion of of what it is that they have done see the world the eight of swords in reverse again it's like this is keeping them stuck this is keeping them stuck so I wouldn't be surprised if um, if this is resonating for you that if eventually your masculine apologizes sends you something um, contacts you to, in order to apologize um, because they really want to resolve this with the world card being here. They want to resolve this successfully so that they can stop thinking about it, so that it can just get out of their minds because it's like really weighing them down, like I said, right, with that Ten of Wands. It's like they're feeling trapped by the past, by what they have done. All right, so let's see this bottom row. All right, we have uh, Strength in Reverse and the King of Cups. Huh, I love that we're getting the Queen and the King of Cups. So yeah, like I said, it's a lot of issues concerning love, right? That's why we started off the reading with Angel of Love. We're getting, um, and we're getting all of these Queens <laughs> and Kings of Cups. Um, okay, so with strength being in reverse here, because strength is also about, when it's upright, it's also about compassion, all right? So the reason why it's in reverse here is because it's clarifying the Eight of Swords in reverse, talking about what it is that is keeping them stuck, right? They want to get unstuck. That's why the Eight of Swords is in reverse. But what has been keeping them stuck in their minds is the fact that they did not have that compassion in the past. So this is what they're feeling right now, like... I need to get out of this. I have not had compassion. I have not been courageous in order to be real, live in truth, rather than that five of swords being deceitful, having betrayed, whatever that is. Like they're feeling very, like they've been a coward, basically, with everything that has happened up until this point. All right, because this is their emotional space. Um, and yeah, King of Cups. This is all concerning their emotions, right? They're feeling that love. Again, they're feeling that empathy. They're feeling all this compassion and, and just love. And that it's there, but intimidated by it, by the strength of it, number one. And number two, because of their own actions. So they're feeling less than, which is intimidating. It's like the consequences, basically. The consequences of their actions. That's what's happening right now. The consequences of their actions are actually manifesting emotionally for them. So let's see the Seven of Pentacles. All right, we got the Page of Pentacles in reverse again. Okay, so I'm like, okay, let's clarify this a little deeper so I can understand. And we get the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so we have, um, which is right next to the, okay. 
you guys get it. So it's like we have the Page of Pentacles clarifying the Seven of Pentacles and then the Seven of Pentacles clarifying the Page of Pentacles, <laughs> okay? So I love when Spirit does this. So basically what this is saying is that, yes, the Masculines, they are taking those steps. They are taking those steps. It is taking a little bit of time, all right? I gotta be honest here. Um, but they're, they're still not very um, trusting of their own self in terms of the steps that they wanna take. They don't know where it's going to take them. And that's just because there's a... They're not feeling very good about their own self. That's all that this is, all right, with that page of pentacles in reverse. They're not trusting their own self with the steps that they're taking. They don't know if they can actually make things right. They want to, but they don't know if it's going to work. It's a lot of doubt. Um, yeah, I really feel like, again, this is, this is just the start of the Venus retrograde. I feel like once it gets on a roll, all of this, this is what is going to be happening. Um, this is what is going to be clearing up inside of them. So let me just get, yeah, because I don't feel like we need to clarify those oracle cards anymore. Um, let's just see what is coming up. What is this leading to coming up in the next couple of weeks? of communication else? all right so we have the seven of cups the six of swords the ten of wands and oh, justice in reverse um, okay all right so next couple of weeks there's still a little bit of confusion here for their own self. I feel like what they're doing here is that they're looking at the alternatives. They're looking at the options, not really sure in which way to move. But it's what's interesting is that they are actually moving. They are actually moving just without fully realizing it. But just the mere fact that they've had these realizations and this awareness and that they're feeling this compassion and this um, almost like regret right, for what has happened and it's weighing them down, that's actually movement. That's the first step to push them forward for this particular case. Or in this aspect, okay, because with the Six of Swords, they're moving away from the past. They're moving away from the painful past or, you know, things that were not serving them. And that does include thoughts, behaviors, attitudes that were not serving them patterns, whatever, anything toxic. All right, they're moving away from that and moving towards the light, moving towards more peace, more stability, more everything that is positive. Now, they will still be carrying this burden though, right? That Ten of Wands, it's still showing up here upright. It's still there. And I actually feel like it's, it's growing. It's growing like in the next couple of weeks, it's just going to be weighing more heavy on them. The fact that things are not feeling right. And so this is why justice is in reverse because they feel like, I know we would have preferred to see it upright because it would be like, yeah, you know, things coming into balance and you know, them making things right. But it's in reverse though, because they know that they have not made things right. They know that they have been unjust and they're carrying that burden. Now, this Ten of Wands, though, it also comes with this energy of wanting to release it, wanting to do something to make it right. That's why we have the Six of Swords, wanting to resolve it. So, honestly, I, I don't see much communication for this particular group um, in the next couple of weeks, but I do see a lot of internal work happening for the masculine feeling the heaviness of whatever it is that they have done, feeling that grief, knowing that things are not right, okay? That's just as important. That's actually, you know, that's a prerequisite to making things right, is to be aware of the fact that they are not right and not in balance. Accepting and admitting 
to the, the deception or whatever it is that they did. So that's, that's what's happening here. Um, let's see how long this is. Okay, let me just get any message that wants to come through for the, for the feminines. And we have the sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron. Okay, so that's the third eye chakra. So I feel like, yeah, you know, you, you will, first of all, you will know intuitively if this, if this resonates for you, if this is what your masculine might be um, going through at the moment or might be experiencing. But this is also you getting more in touch with your own spirituality, being more perceptive, having more insights into your own self, seeing the situation more clearly, seeing yourself more clearly, understanding things about your own self, and being receptive to messages that you are getting from the spiritual world. All right, so this is actually very, very positive for you. I feel like a lot of you are also picking up on a lot of messages and energies from your masculines. And I also had another one flip over here in its journey. So if some of you are taking a trip or if you're going on a journey, if this is like literal, I feel like it's going to be a journey that is actually going to help you even um, more when it comes to opening up your third eye chakra or um, just being more intuitive there's going to be something special about this particular journey, okay? And it could just be figuratively speaking as well, like maybe some of you um, are doing more meditations, for example, all right? This is showing up very, very strongly here. Or take it as a message to actually take advantage of this time period and focus on your third eye chakra or do some more meditations. So to be fair <laughs> to the feminines here, let's just get a couple more. All right, and we have um, number 20, this is karma. This is karma. So you might also feel like there's some karma playing out that is resolving itself. So for a lot of you, it could be that you are bringing some balance into your own life. There might be karmic cycles that are closing out in your life as well, okay? So do pay attention um, to those areas in your life. And should we get one more? Yeah, we'll get one more. One more for you. I feel like this is also, um, with whatever it is that is happening here, this is just kind of like a reminder that there's also karma between you and your masculine, okay? This is true for all deep relationships. And a lot of what has been happening is also karmic, right? There's um, There are karmic elements that need to balance out between the two of you. And oftentimes, you know, that can be, um, it can play out as the masculine just acting in, in a way where it triggers you. So again, not excusing them, but <clears throat> you know, karma can work in, in mysterious ways here. Let's see, anything else for the feminines? All right, we have material world devotion and forgiveness. Okay, so I feel like there's this balance that is happening between um, your spiritual side and your more 3D side. Okay, so there's this, it's like you're being encouraged to really find a balance between your material world and your spiritual world. Okay, and I do feel like for the most part you're doing that. Um, I feel like you're also being encouraged to, to, to give some emphasis to what is happening in your material world, like what's going on around you in your environment, focusing maybe on some kind of a project or on something that you want to um, accomplish. And a part, <laughs> a part of this is, especially when it comes to the more spiritual aspect, is forgiveness, forgiving your own self first and foremost, and then also holding that forgiveness for your for your masculine. I feel like um, being able to find forgiveness for yourself as well as for your masculine is also helping to clear to clear the karma between the two of you. So um, yeah, I do have 
another video that I want to make concerning forgiveness and gratitude. I think I mentioned it like maybe like a month ago. Um, so I'm a little bit late in doing that, but yeah, it's showing up again. So yeah, this is spirit pushing me to do that. So I will, I will do a video um, sometime soon, which will help with forgiveness for your own self as well as for your masculine and, um, and also gratitude. It will be like an exercise. So yeah, let's get a final oracle card to just close out this reading. All right, and we have TikTok, okay, which is all about time, right? This can definitely talk about divine timing, but this is also, to me, it's like things are picking up, things are speeding up. It's everything is just a matter of time for things to just fully come together here and for things to play out in the way that they are meant to. Okay, so do know that things are on track, things are moving in the way that they are meant to here. It's really just a matter of time before um, <laughs> something bigger kind of um, manifests, all right? Like, and it's going to feel like an explosion, I feel like. Like it, it could happen very, very suddenly. So that is it. Um, I thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and I will talk to you guys soon. Much love.